Hey team, frequently asked question Friday. And what is the topic of our conversation? Today, it's about inviting. And do you like the backdrop? Yes, I was gonna make this video from my car, but then I saw this backdrop at this automotive center and I was like, oh no, you totally have to make your video there. So enjoy the scenery, okay? I was on the go and um, you know, this just happened to happen, so we're gonna go for it. So let's talk about inviting. Inviting is one of our three vital behaviors. Invite, invite, invite. I want you to put that word invite on repeat, repeat, repeat. I also want you to understand, as many of us already do, that inviting is a must do every single day. It is a part of your daily to-do list. Now, inviting, is probably the scariest of our three vital behaviors. It's really easy and comfortable to be a product of the product, to work out and drink our Shakeology. It's really easy to plug into some positive personal development for 10 minutes a day because it only includes us in our world. Inviting means stepping outside of your comfort zone and including people and showing people and sharing with people what you are doing. So let's think of inviting as sharing, okay? And make it not so scary. One way that we invite is publicly. You make these amazing, awesome, scroll-stopping graphics. You include a nice, sweet, short description that is really going to engage people to want to read what this offering, what this group is all about, and you post it publicly. And you ask people to comment, to like, to inbox you, and to join you in this endeavor of your group that you are hosting. Now think about yourself for just a second. If someone posted a public invite open to everyone, would you be apt to accept the invitation, to click like, to comment, to inbox that person? Would you feel like that public invite was like personalized for you and that public invite made you feel special and like this group was meant for you? Not necessarily. Are the public invites important? Yes, absolutely, 100%, because they show people that you are consistent and that you are committed every single month to helping other people reach their goals and live healthy, fulfilling lives. So don't stop publicly promoting groups. That needs to be there because people are watching what you're doing and it builds trust and it will build momentum for your business. But where the real magic happens is in those private inboxes. So you're like, private inbox, what? Those private invitations, private invitations. And the reality of it is, we don't get to see those private invitations because they're not public. So we really don't know how people are inviting behind the scenes, but that's where the magic happens. So I really want you to focus on privately inviting. So. Who can you and who do you privately invite? Anyone, everyone, okay? So it could be someone that you've been building a relationship with, that you've connected with them on their family, their occupation, their recreation. It could be someone that simply said something or posted something or commented on something that was fitness and nutrition related. It can be anyone but you have to personalize your invite to them. And that's where I'm telling you must, 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 must do. So for example, for myself, soccer mom, I post a lot about soccer. All three of my kids are in soccer. I'm in private Facebook groups that are soccer. The, the niche is soccer. They're all soccer moms. So I can connect with these soccer moms on a level that's genuine and authentic, authentic to who I am and what's going on in my life. So I'll post a picture of Macy at her soccer game and they'll comment and I comment back and then I inbox them. Hey girl, I know that you are a soccer mom just like me and I love watching your kids and your life through the role of soccer because you know that that's a major part of my life. 
but being as busy as both of us are, I was thinking of you because I'm hosting this group and it's a free crock pot clean eating group and I thought, my gosh, I need this in my life because it helps me meal prep and provide healthy meals for my very active family. So I thought it might be of interest to you and we can support one another. What do you think? I'd love to have another soccer mom at my side in this group. As simple as that. You personalized the message and you reached out to them in a way that was authentic to you, but there was a commonality between the two of you. So, I wanna tell you something else. When you're typing these invites privately to your people, it reaches them. Make sure that you're always saying and addressing and typing their name as your greeting you are always personalizing it in those first couple sentences and then you're inviting. But I have to tell you, the Facebook voice recorded messages are the bomb.com because our day is so technology oriented with text messaging and emails and reading Facebook uh, Facebook posts and Instagram posts and all of this social media. We're constantly using our eyes and reading and reading and reading and reading. When you hear someone's voice, it adds another layer to your inviting. They hear you. They hear you say their name. They hear you talk about an interest that is common between the two of you and it really hits home. So I want to share with you that that strategy is really something that works really, really well for me. Now those of you that know me know that I am not a phone talker at all, but I have sort of stopped halting at calling people. So if somebody shows interest or if I've invited somebody and they're like, oh, well, you know, maybe tell me a little bit more, I'll say, hey, do you have 10 minutes that I could call you real quick and we could chat it up? You, again, you're adding a personal touch and this is what this is all about. Inviting has to be personalized. So I want you to think of personalizing every single invite making it unique, making the person that you're inviting feel special, feel touched, and want to be a part of what you have to offer. Can you text message? Yes, you totally can text message too. So those are the ways that I wanted to share with you that I invite and things that have been working for me. Is it the be all end all of inviting? Absolutely not. Are there ways that I don't um, know or are there ways and strategies that I'm not using that I should be? Probably, but that's why we're doing this Frequently Asked Friday question so that we can share with one another, we can lift each other up and we can help each other grow with moving our business forward and helping other people. So what I wanna hear from you is what works for you when you are inviting? What works? Share it below in the comments. You can share graphics, you can share descriptions, you can share dialogue inboxes that have worked for you, but I really wanna focus on the magic that happens in the private messaging and the private inboxing and the private inviting that we normally don't see. So are you with me? All right, time to share, get after it. My backdrop is now gone. Love you guys, have a great weekend.